Now we are going to create the obstacle spawner. To create that, simply add a node 3D as the child of this word scene. We are going to rename it to obstacle spawner. This node 3D is just an empty object, so it can be used to create some kind of managers. Now let's also add a timer as the child of this. We need a position for our obstacles to spawn at. So for that, we are going to use marker 3D. Marker 3D is just a transform component with just position, rotation and scale. So we can use this to define a position for our obstacles to spawn. So I'm going to move it to the end of this ground and I'm also going to lift it up a little bit from the ground like this. So it's in the middle of this obstacle. The reason we're doing this if we keep this right here, it will clip inside of this ground, which we do not want. So I'm just going to give it right here. Now let's rename this to the spawn position or spawn pose. And now we are done with the setup of this obstacle spawner. Now let's attach a script to this. So we're going to go there and we're going to save it inside the scripts folder as obstacle spawner.gd. Let's open it and create a new script. In the script, we need a reference to the obstacle scene. So to create that, we're simply going to say add on ready var obstacle, which is going to be the name of this variable, and then preload obstacle.jscn. So we're basically loading the obstacle scene and we are storing its reference inside of this obstacle variable. And then we can use this variable to create the instance of the obstacle scene. We are also going to connect the timeout signal of this timer and also let's rename this to spawn delay and let's now connect the signal timeout to this obstacle spawner script and let's connect inside of this we are going to say var obstacle instance equals obstacle dot instantiate we are just storing the obstacle instance inside of this variable so that we don't have to actually write this for every time we use the obstacle instance now we can say obstacle instance dot position and we're going to set it equals to this spawn position but first we need a reference of this in the script as well so we're just going to drag it drop it here while holding control button and this will create an on ready statement for us okay now let's say spawn position dot position now this is going to set the position of our obstacle instance to the spawn position that we just created inside the word scene we are going to add the obstacle instance inside our tree so to do that we're simply going to say add child and then we're going to pass in the obstacle instance variable now after writing this we are also going to configure the timer so we click on it go back to the inspector and wait time you can set it to anything but i'm going to set it to two seconds and make sure to enable this auto start option this will start the timer as soon as we press the play button so now if you run the game the obstacle will spawn after two seconds and as you can see they are spawning now let's make our obstacle spawn with a different x position so right now if i play the game you can see the obstacle spawns endlessly but it's just spawning at one position that we gave in the last video so let's fix that and make it a little bit random so every time a new obstacle spawns it spawns with a random x position between a negative value and a positive value so to create that we are going to go into the obstacle spawner script that we created in the last video and here right after this we're going to say plus vector 3 and first let's just do this so we're getting a vector 3 with zero values in all axes and then in the x axis we're going to say random f range so we are say 0 and 0 for now so this is the minimum value and this is the maximum value and here we are going to simply say let's say minus 2 and 2 so now the obstacle is going to spawn with a random offset of minus 2 and 2 with respect to this spawn position so now if i play the game the obstacle will spawn every time with a random x position and that's good we got the randomness inside